This is Dakota News Now Sports. After a light couple of nights, it is our first true ball night of the high school basketball calendar as the prep hoop season begins in earnest for boys and girls across South Dakota. The game of the night on paper was down in Lenox between preseason number one team in Class AC Falls Christian and the host Orioles. This is my luck. I got there late because it started late. I'm the only guy shooting basically tonight. They were hitting all free throws except for this. Cooper Goodberry at the buzzer. That gave Sioux Falls Christian a 17 point lead at the break and the Chargers would charge to a 77 to 53 victory. Up in Brandon, the double A season tipping off with the Lynx hosting the fifth ranked O Gorman Knights. Tied it in the third quarter. The Knights get hot and Yun Dut spin and score in the lane. And the next time down, that gave his team the lead with the student section going bonkers. It's Hayden Gross. Uh, this was pretty sick if you were a home team fan or maybe if you're a road team fan too. He buries a triple 10-0 run to start the second half. The Lynx trying to settle in in this one. Briggs Knudsen ends the run with a three of his own. Yet they just could not stop the Knights. Namely that big fell in the middle. Dude, he was too strong inside with moves like that. O'Gorman with a big second half. They pull away in this one 71-54. Over in Sioux Falls, Crosstown Showdown between Washington and Lincoln that you saw live on DakotaNewsNow.com. Thanks to our friends at Metro Sports TV. Washington's Lewis Johnson for three. Warriors in it after one. Big second quarter, though, for the home team. Tate Schaefer with the kick out to Sam DeGroote. 20-11 the second quarter for the Patriots as the Warriors trying to stay in it. Jace Woods through the trees inside. They trailed by 10 at the break. It was all Patriots after that. Acrobatic finish from Isaac Jarofsky. As Lincoln rolls in this one, 61 to 32. Over in Hartford, rematch of the 11A state football title game with fifth ranked Dell Rapids at West Central. Dell's trailed by seven in the fourth quarter until Coles Rusink gets the steal and gets it ahead to Jack Henry. Warriors get all the way to within a point. Trojans trying to hang on for dear life. And Trevin Price is right from the corner for three. They go back up by four to the delights. Their student section, however, on the other end, Dell Rabbits gets three the old-fashioned way. Tad Shaden acting the act, and it's a one-point game again. Another clutch shot here from West Central. Will Cool, cool as ice. Looked like they might hang on. They did not. Dells took it to overtime and would win by two in one of the games of the night, 61-59. to Farther south, third-ranked Dakota Valley welcoming in T. The Titans started this one strong. Sam Almas from just inside the arc gives the visitors a lead, but bad news for the rest of the state. There's another Bruns on the Panthers. Luke Bruns with the spin and fade away. It's pure. He had 24 points, almost looking like a player early on. Beautiful work along the baseline. Ends up with a finger roll. It's only a three-point game. T trailing at half. Wild play here, though. T will nearly come up with a takeaway. However, it ends up being a turnover that ends up in a Jackson Winger layup. The big fella had 28 points and 11 rebounds, and the two-time defending state champs take this one, 68-58. The Vermilion boys crossing state lines to take on South Sioux City in Nebraska. Zone Robinson with the steal, goes up for two plus the foul. That's a good hustle for Jay Drake coming up here. Carter Hansen. Will tip the missed free throw to Robinson, who lays it up and in. Tanders made all those kind of plays in a 76-33 victory.